How you guys doing, man? I just come on here to talk for a second. Just to vent a little bit. Don't feel bad for who you are. Especially your true authentic being. If you've grown, it don't even matter how much you've grown. If you've grown to be better than the person you were yesterday, don't let nobody tell you different. Don't let nobody make you think different about yourself. Um, don't let nobody make you feel any type of way. You know? If you help somebody or try to help somebody, they don't use the help or show that they don't want it, so be it. Don't think that you're not doing something because you're doing what's right to you. Because it is the truth to you. Um, people gonna be people. Hmm. Show you a prime example. Look at that. Come back this way. See that? See all that trash over there? Over here? You know what I'm saying? This trash, all that trash over there. This is what's wrong with the world today. Somebody actually works here and nobody's come to pick up all this trash. This is a place that we live. That's disgusting. Just imagine the minds of many people that live on this thing called Earth. How do you think they think? What do you think they think is okay? Better yet, how many of them do you think are being their true authentic self. Are you being your true self? I know I am. It's a lot of people don't like it, probably. I can care less. They don't do nothing for me. Sometimes I dislike the type of being that I am, but I have to remember this is the way I'm supposed to be. I was made this way. I am a light worker, an indigo child. I'm supposed to seek and find people to bring the best out of. I'm supposed to see the best in people, even though I hate that because I see the best in people instead of visualizing them for who they are, you know what I'm saying? I give people the benefit of the doubt. Not so much as now because I control it and I know I can. But um, yeah, I used to give people the benefit of the doubt I would let things slide that had no business of even going past where it was in the beginning. You know, and if you're a person that does that, you can attest to how I feel whenever a person will try to put it on you. Like you're the wrong one or whatever the case may be, all because you let slide whatever the problem was. You let the problem go un unnoticed or untalked about until you could deal with the problem no more. But something that I want to say. 
If you know it's a problem, whoever's giving you the problem knows it's a problem. But they're going to feed and eat off of that problem until you can take no more. And then they'll make it seem like, yeah, whatever, it's your fault. And it kind of is, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, dang. I'm so discombobulated. My, uh, my energy is off. It's because I'm speaking of some things that make me feel some type of way. Because I only seek the best in people. That's all I've ever done. Even before I knew that's what I was supposed to do. Because that's the type of person that I am. You know? Even going through everything that I've been through, I'm still that same person. Not to the same extent because you never stay the same period, especially dealing with certain tragedies and things like that. But I'm growing into a much better, more responsible, way more grounded person than I ever was ever before. I'm a person that nobody even knows right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can tell me that I will or won't do this because they don't know who I am. Nobody can blame me for anything because they don't understand the thoughts that I present in the way that I infuse them into the mind. Not everybody's gonna understand what you're trying to tell them whenever you're trying to enlighten a person and bring out the best in that person or what you think is the best in that person. And even if you are trying to bring it out of them, it's gonna be up to them to bring it out themselves. You can't take glasses off of a blind man or woman and expect them to see. They would have to take the proper precautions and procedures to be able to bring forth light through their own eyes so that they can see themselves, you know what I'm saying? And it hurts, it really does. But it's all good, you know what I mean? Cause I know all up in here, in this thing right here, wherever the heart is, all up in here. And up in here, I know I am a great individual. I am a superb being. I am my own superb being because nobody is like me. Nobody thinks like me, nobody acts like me, nobody treats people like me. You know, nobody does anything that I do except for me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at the dude. He just walked over here. I'll just, I'm in a mode right now. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sending the message through something. <laughs> it's through me, but it's not. So, yeah, like, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't think crazy like that. Uh, something like that. What's going on? Uh, cool, man. Hey, can I say what's up to the vlog? What up, yeah? How you doing? What's up, man? What's your name? Sabi, man. Sabi. I'm Ron. Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Hell yeah, man. What's your, what's your, what's your YouTube? Uh, you type in Ronald Moss. Ronald Moss? Uh, I'll call you right now, dude. Yeah, I do, uh, workout videos and I... Bro, I need that. Do, like, bro, motivational cause... speaking type things. All right. Hell yeah. Ronald Moss, M-O-S-S? Yeah. That's you right there? Yep, that's me. All right, man. Hi, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. No yes, worries. sir. You have a good one.
<laughs> oh man, that made me feel so good just then. That made me feel really good. That just changed my whole mood. But anyway, man, like I was saying, you know, that's how I know I'm a good person. Cause you know how, you see how the universe just changed my whole mood just then? Now I'm back in it. But yeah, man, like, it doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> a person gonna do what a person wanna do because that's what that person wanna do. You can try to be a light bringer to them. It does not matter, whatever it is. At the end of the day, don't fault yourself because you, you've done what you were supposed to do. It just, it, it really makes me feel some type of way. And it shouldn't because most of us are only here to plant seeds, you know? But, um, what is my student doing? Most of us are here to plant seeds. But, um, that's all that we're supposed to do. So we're not supposed to, I guess, let feeling take over but as a human being you're gonna let feeling take over because it's inevitable it's part of our human nature you know what i'm saying and that's a bad thing in some senses because because some things are not even worth you having the feelings that you have or whatever the case may be so um but yeah, man, like, it just really saddened me how, how the world is. It's like I said, look at this trash right here, you know? <laughs> That's very, very crazy, dude. I'm talking about, like, for real crazy. But I, I still, I still feel, and I will continue to be, that person that I am, which is the same way that I've always been, just in a more protected manner. I've had to learn how to love again. Yes, I have. That's because of the damage that was done to me, you know what I'm saying? And regardless of that fact, I still love through the damage at least as much as I could and whether something good or bad came from it I won't say that it's my fault because it's all an experience every experience is necessary I don't take anything out of anything that happened to my life in my life that's something bad. Because things happen for a reason. Always stand on your truth. Always stand on who you are. Never let anybody make you think that you aren't who you are. If you know your true self. Because some people will help you or try to help you get out of that character mode. Because everybody's a character. That's all I got right now. Before I get out of here though, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my video, share this video with someone who you think it may resonate with. Uh, and also make sure you hit the uh, bell to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I drop more content. 
I just want to change the lives of as many people as I can. I love everybody and I hope that you become the best version of yourself, whether it's through my helping or anybody else's helping that there is. I hope that you grasp a leash, a leash on life. And if your life has went down the drain, I hope you bring it back up, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody can bounce back from a setback. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Anything, it does not matter. Whatever it is, you can bounce back from it. But yeah, as always, stay healthy, stay happy, keep loving your heart, and until next time, peace.